Coming to you straight from the Thunderdome in Center Athletics Force, Minnesota. We're ready for a good game of MFL football, but we're here with a team that literally eats their opponents, so we may have to settle for carnage instead. Hey, that's what they paid for, Grim. I'm pretty sure they're okay with that. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Grim Bay Attackers battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called the lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all you can eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. Oh, that's a relief because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. And this player has one speed. He's the bullet and the offense is the target. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Touchdown! Hey, man, see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. Mm, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing.
great chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. Third down and long. Just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. That was a nice piece of running, Ben. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better. Like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi, I'm adding anything really tastes good. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Man, look at him dance. <laughs> he can't help himself. I thought robot time supposed to feel emotions. Looks like someone needs to watch Blade Runner again. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Oh, look at that. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Second down and a lot. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Ooh. 
third down and the QB is saying his prayers. And there's a huge gain and this offense is rolling. Mogman, that was a pass play. Rolling plays him in bowling. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he got an off. That's a decent punt. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? Okay, no, man. I can't. Come on. I got him. You know, I'm out. You know, the punter was killed, so now they'll need to find another player on the bench to punt from here on out. Yeah, who gives a crap about punters anyway? Punters' moms? Wives? Kids? Uh, but that's about it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Second down and a very lot. A pickup of about three on that play. Third down and eight. Seven yards on that run. Second and three. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Anyone in the mood for mutant tartar? gonna hurt he may not be able to comprehend math after that hit what's math exactly and it's first and ten and it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook what a dud Second down and ten. That's a six yard gain. Third and four. Point. And a well-placed cleat. First down and five. And he's 
running like a moose right now. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and five. through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yay. Don't make any mistakes here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. You can't keep a good mutant down. First and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Huh? Second down and long. And there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient prison break. Third down and, well, good luck. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut and you'll tire these guys out. First down. They stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convo. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Hey, man, I was huge on the now. You know what <laughs> And that's it. That's the last timeout. It's score or die from here out.
Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! It's a time warp dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just asking. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Okay. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my... The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, man? A carnival? Huh? I'm going to go to a strip tease show. Where we going? I'm going to ruin you. Why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. I can touch an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five!
Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And they pull a one-three dirty break. This play is usually good for a quick score because no one's a chance to go. And he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're going to lose, pal. You kind of deserve it if you're this dead script. First offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Now this guy had a lot of integrity. If he took a bribe, he blew the whistle. He put his money where his mouth was. Yeah, and now his mouth is where his foot was, on the ground. First down in a mile. a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Second down and five. And he just wrestles away. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. <laughs> Seven yards on that play. Second and three. First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and more than the QB would like. Wow! Look at the 
Quadmobile crashing into a slaughterhouse! And it's first and ten. Second and one. you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay you know you gotta put the buzz saw in the mvp conversation breaks got more kills than anyone in the league right now yeah you make a good point and it's first and ten team last week I don't have so much money on him not to mention my kneecaps my loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time Graham and it's first and ten point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. Ha, ha, ha. 
Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Oh, no good. Now that punter's going to find a cutoff bison head in his bed tonight. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Holy crap! He missed time to spikes and ends up dead. Life is full of misery, Grim. Loneliness and suffering. And then it's over much too soon. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. First down and one. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. Looks like the defense called the ginormous. Oh, he took a leap and hit the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. Goal! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. never happened because the defense called a time warp dirty trick and transport their offense back in time. It's just a jump to the left. And a step to the right. Second down and more than the QB would like. for something, but I will be the one that... And he rumbles for nine on that play. Third down and six. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Whoa. And well, the quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the entire defense. Ah, my glasses just shattered. You wear glasses? <laughs> Only when I read. You read? Second down and long. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Now these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. Go to dirty tricks and hit attack ref. It feels good. Second down in a... And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> 
Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Third down and forever. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And the two-minute warning sounds. There's not much time left at all. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do well, maybe actually. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. First and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good! The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. point but this guy could blow it the kick is good and as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the teams are lined up for the kickoff not a bad kick but not a great one either well his nickname is lukewarm and he's proud of that yeah that's why he named his clothing company lukewarm friends Team hates it. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Well, did I kill him? And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first, and they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. The meat eaters devour the opposition and win the game. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a defeated team 
should get a participation award because I, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not.